a high number of cram, and today we're taking another look at Wanted Dead, but this time in VR, using the Prey Dog Unreal Engine VR mod. So, developers have recently changed this combat to be a little, lot more accessible. Um, we did a video about that. Uh, but now we're playing in VR, and it's pretty amazing stuff. The game just works nicely. Um, you don't need to do any tinkering. It runs in native stereo. And it's pretty awesome. Oh, shot the bamboo down. So it's not 100% perfect. There are a few moments where you might get a sort of skewed image um, every time it loads certain scenes. But generally it works really well as a sort of main gameplay. Now I did fight the spider boss on another video. Um, unfortunately, that was quite difficult. A lot of scenes come in and out. Um, and then the boss itself is quite big. It sort of kind of gets in the way of the screen sometimes. Okay, um, but very manageable and this is just great. I mean, inside here, you've got a wonderful sense of scale here. Um, everything looks nice. Um, the fact that it's third person doesn't make much of a difference, really. Um, it's good to see Agent Stone up close and personal. And I finally decided to um, use the finishing moves. Something I didn't do in the previous video. I completely ignored it. Um, makes a light work of these enemies. Unfortunately as well with this game, if you access the menu to level up, you might get a um, crash. Um, I think it's a bit hit and miss. So I think somebody with a bit more experience with this um, VR mod should be able to fix this up nicely so it works well. Yeah, nice finishing moves. Grenade. Yeah, this is just so good in VR. It just works. It just feels really nice. And that sort of visceral combat is lovely as well. Grenade. So what they've done is as well... Oh, shit. What they've done as well is they've um, incorporated some of the moves that you might have had to unlock before into the standard character, which is kind of nice. There you go. Right. I think we're good here. Let's go. Can't wait to get back. Here they the come. So she's also got a new move as well, which enables her to slide and shoot. To give her a good... Well, what happened? Cutscene. Skip. Right, so this is where you would sort of normally level up, but if I do it, it's probably going to crash the game. So let's just keep it basic for now. I've got a replenishment of my um, okay. stims. Lock and low. Yeah, this looks so good in VR. It's just so fantastic. As I was saying, um, when the original CV1, Oculus CV1 release, which is the first real consumer God. headset, along with the Vive, um, it released with no motion controls. So we all had to sit there with these sort of... Uh, bloody heck, multiple grenades! With these uh, controller-based video games. In fact, the original CV1 shipped with an Xbox controller if my memory serves me correctly, which is kind of quick, right? Um, yeah, they had that, and it had the, uh, what did it have? It had the um, dongle as well for wireless controls. Yeah. So when you do that sort of parry move, um, it does have a little bit of a, like, an explosion like that. Kind of messes you up a little bit. But, I mean, that adds to the disorientation of that whole thing. That's kind of a neat sort of side byproduct of that. Whoops. Oh. Yeah, 
yeah, this looks so good in VR. It's just amazing that you get those close-ups on the um, finishing moves. Yeah. Anyone else want some? Let's go. We can light work of this now. Yeah, the cutscenes mostly work. Now you've noticed now on this particular playthrough, I haven't even been using my uh, ranged attack. They've now. changed this now, so that your ranged weapons can also now um, cause limb damage. And you can increase that ability as well. What we should be able to do in this game is just stack them up. Once they're in that sort of uh, mode where they're flashing, obviously these enemies are quite easy um, to begin. Once they're in that mode of staggered, you can then chain them together. Yeah, that wind, like that mode there, they could change. Oh, how cool is this stuff? In your face, off of your head. Yeah, it's quite a, a gory game in a comical sort of way. Yeah, they can light work of these. I like the way they run away like that. Well, I'm going to die. I need to get out of here. Cover. I mean, you can play it as a cover shooter like this. It's kind of... It's not really designed that way. Um, Stone is cyberpunk. Really. She's got extra armor ability. Look at that. Just run in and slice him in half. Grenade! Get away! He's dead. Right. Yeah, and it just runs very smoothly as well. Die! Not quite. I get oh, a nice view of her up close like that. Um, so you get one revive per level or per checkpoint from a teammate. Done here. We got him. All right, moving on. Okay, next, skip the cutscenes. Right. I want to try and get to the outside section quickly as possible. Have you seen that shit? I've got shield people now. Oh, these are the melee guys. Shit! We got me! Damn it! That was kind of a big combo, a three hit combo that's just reduced me to tears. Basically, use your pistol to break their um, unblockable attack. I'd expect nothing Off less. Uh, let's go. Keep moving on. Closing the shutters over there. We're getting closer and closer to the outside. Give them hell, Stone. Right. A lobby scene. Spread out. Fight, right? What is this? It's a nice range there. Grenade! 
bit disorientating there. Sneak. That's it. Get your health back by doing the finishing move. Off of your head. All three of them here. Oh, he's got me. Close, close. Get rid of these goons first, the range attackers. We'll focus on them in a second. Right, who's left? Just good the fact that your teammates also are actually hitting the enemies and not just there for lip service. Which is kind of cool. Nice. Oh, that grenade was very disorientating. As you would expect it to be. Uh, you wouldn't get that in the 2D game. Finish him. Alright. I think we got them all. We didn't. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't unlock any more of the moves because um, it will crash. Right, does this lead to the outside? Finally, I think it might do. We're going in, Stone. Brusak, if you were shit, you get it. Right, to replenish the health. How does it feel to be an old grumpy alcoholic? Right, shields. Oh, gosh. Right, with the shield guys, there's a move that can disarm them now. One of your special moves, but shoot the legs. Dead. Look at that, nicely done. Oh look, even one of my teammates managed to kill them. Awesome. Double kill. Oh nice. Pretty cool. Right, we're getting close now to the outside. Yeah, so as I say, in VR, this just all looks wicked. Um, the sense of scale. The interiors now are nice. So you could get him... Excuse me, a bit of stuff, I know. You could get him, all of them sort of lined up in that grey flashing mode, stun mode, and then do a three, On your four combo to take them out. There you go, interrupted his flow. Nicely done. On your guard. Yeah, the lighting looks really nice in here as well. Um, which is cool in VR. I'm not sure if they've made any improvements to the game engine um, for this update. On your guard. Nicely cancelled. Well, I haven't actually died yet. Proper. Gosh. A bit full on here. Nicely done. I think we're good to go. Right through the library, I think, next. A corridor, yeah. So, this opening level does use your slump some voice. Very samey looking. It's a fucking long level. Over an hour for the opening mission. Nice done. Right, look how... Whoa! Did you see how much range that guy had when he rushed me? Shoot his feet. Yeah. Nice and done. Finish him off. Right, who's next? Yeah, so obviously working the camera here for VR, as you can see, it's very easy. Um, I'm not having any difficulty wrestling with the camera in this game, which is nice. Yeah, she's very nimble. You can see the Ninja Gaiden influence in this game. Oh, both limbs off. Too bad. Okay. Checkpoint. 
Please be outside now. The reason why I'm going to show you outside is, ah, uh, with no, we're getting there. This is where we get introduced to the ninjas, then it's outside. What an extra I'm gonna do. Um, let's try and complete this level without dying. Um, On your guard. Yeah, nice to Three hits. Uh, where am I going? Oh, nicely done. Yeah, it's all about the parry. They've increased the, uh, the window of opportunity for that. Yeah, stagger him and finish it. <laughs> it was it. Fire away! What is it? I'm trying to think of the Monty Python um, Tis But a Scratch. That sketch when he's had no arms and he's still wanting to fight. Tis But a Scratch. Um, which way am I going? Fire away! I'm going to go over here. Down here. Up here, maybe. Up the stairs. Fire away! Oh, boom. Yeah, this is such a nice and satisfying game. Oh, the grenades are full on here. Disorientate me a bit. Death. Nicely done. Oh, double. It just looks so good in VR. It's just like you're right there. Oh dear. Luckily, I didn't speak too soon then. So I've got no more of those. Uh, dead. So if you can anticipate their attack, nicely done. Um, you can then counter on your guard and finish them off quite easily. Right, get in there slowly and surely. If you move so quick, they don't stand a chance. Whoa! In half. Stim packs full, don't need any more. Okay, going downstairs. No, there's one enemy up here. As I said in my other video, the reason why I like this game a lot as well is because your sword just feels it's not like a made of plastic. It does some serious damage. Oh. Finish here. Kind of messed up a bit there. Um, so what they've done is they've added loads of. Uh, oh, there's one guy there. They've added loads of stim packs to the ground for this upcoming ninja battle. Um, right here. He triggers about now. Come on, where are you? Oh. Uh, I think of. Because there's one guy left. Oh shit, he's followed you all the way up here. Once he's gone, the ninja will come out now. Kind of got ahead of things here a bit. Whoa. Here he is. He's your first sub -bot. Oh shit. Shoot him. I'm going to die here, I think. Shit. There's all the stims I was talking about. I'll pop it on the case. Run! Pick up the stims! Bloody heck! He's killed me! No way, I'm not going through all this again. Anyway, look. Fucking hell. Yes, the, the difficulty goes from 1 to 100. Just like that. Um, is there do I have to, uh, at least a checkpoint here, Enemy that's good. Here he comes. Right, let's try him again. He's gonna get buried. 
this time. Come on then. Keep shooting, keep shooting, it's a good boy. See how easy that was? We messed up the first time, right. We're still going strong here, and I think now we get to the outside. Right, this is what I wanted to show you from... No, we're not there now yet. I can you tell you, it's a long fucking mission. Outside is special because... You get a really beautiful sense of scale in VR with all the buildings in the background, the rain falling down. It's such a nice um, level. So let's just make light work, these guys here. an army help. Oh, this this mission has just taken us everywhere, through offices, through lobbies, through hallways. Now we're in the cafeteria for the start. window of opportunity is just huge now. There's always somebody hiding. Okay, anyone left? Is that a ninja? Oh, off of both my forearms. Okay, we're going this way. Anyone left? No. Whoa, hiding right by the door. That's a cheap trick. Gotcha. No. It seems like they can evade that. Um... He still, he got me with one arm. My heck. Oh, look, this guy's back here now. Shoot the bastard. Fuck you. He's still got the one arm, this guy. Oh. Oh. Wow. That was an extra special KO for him that time. Right, we finally made it. To the outside world. Right. That, oh, wow. Right. So this was originally where I was going to start the video from. But we've ma managed to luckily last this far. So this is just really awesome part of the game. The um, don't now that we're in the outside, there's more of this game in the outside. It's not always these sort of interiors. But this is just so fantastic in VR now. You've got that beautiful sense of scale. Um, I'm going to leave the chain floor. And then you've got this nice open area for building up your attacks. Let's see if we can do this without dying. Kind of low level goons. They keep evading that um, finishing move. It's like I'm slightly too slow. Dang it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Nicely done. See, technically, you could. Uh, 
let's set all these guys up for a finishing attack. I feel good enough. Yeah, that pistol shot is so useful for those little enemies that want to sneak in on the side. That's it. Oh. That's it, double kill. You don't need the chainsaw here. It's best to save it. I don't even use that much health. Can kill me! Oh no, I think I spoke too soon. No. Oh dear. Right. Look how quickly she just dives, like teleported to that guy there. That was cool. Right, finish him. Whoa. Nice. Beautiful. Right, we're done here. I um, haven't used any stims. And let's go back and get that chainsaw. Because now we've got more ridiculous ninjas. Right, let's go. But it runs out of health very quickly. Health. Yeah, this is just so good, this area in VR. Um, okay. Enemy reinforcements. Right, let's just finish this ninja very quickly with the chainsaw. Oh, yes. And I'm not sure. Oh, it uses that up in one go. These guys got such range. Yep, and they do that as well. Um. down any time soon. Wow. Sit. Last one. Just gotta shoot him in the feet. Nicely done. Right, so I'm going to leave it at this because obviously now we're getting close to the boss and um, there's no need to uh, show you that again. Well, not again, but I described it at the beginning of the... Um, why can't I pick up that stem? There you go. Um, yeah. Attack on the interiors. There is actually a slow down time move that you've got in this, which I don't think we ever use. Easily to get rid of these guys. Nice. Cool. Alright then, well, oh, a couple left here. Slice it in half. Okay, I think we're good. Right. Well, this ends the video for today. Um, yeah, we're getting close to the boss now. Um, yeah, this is great with Unreal Engine VR mod. It runs very well. I've had to lower the settings quite a bit, the resolution, because obviously it's quite intensive in VR. And um, you okay, I think Steve? I renamed the folder as well the open vr folder that's in the game already just rename that open vr 2 and then it should let you just play like this quite easily all right i'm going to leave it at that 
I'm Rob Cram. This is Wanted Dead. Very much worthwhile in VR. Okay, thanks for watching. We out of here.